can't do this anymore. I can't do this. Can he get in? His camel jockeys have got diseases I don't want to think about. Where is he? The client still has him. What client? We go in there now. Okay, drive. So the client's an oil sheik, no less. He used to rule some huge stretch of desert till his tribe kicked him out. Been living here in exile ever since. Anyway. Sheiky was loaded, and he wanted a job done. Hunter took the contract, then he ran. They caught him at the airport. And? You know the rest. You got a package. Yeah, I've got it. What's the job? Just came with a price tag, no details. Hunter took it cold. Why would he do that? Six million dollars. A big score, Danny. Too bloody big for Hunter. <laughs> yeah. Well, why'd you offer it to him? You wanted the money, and you were out, remember? Yeah, still am. I'm done with killing. Yeah, well, maybe killing ain't done with you. Hunter needs the old Danny, the best in the biz, the one with balls of steel. You remember him, right? Look, it comes down to this. You don't do this job, Hunter's a dead man. This way. He's waiting for his eyes to adjust. Be careful around this one, boy. My son forgets the ways of the desert. Since our war against the Sultan, all he has had of his homeland is this paint. Plaster. My first son, Hussein, was slaughtered here. Shot before his children. And here, at the Battle of Murbad, his brother, Salim, was wounded and then killed. Murdered. And then my third son was taken from me. Ali. Hunted down and 
slaughtered. The Lord of the Desert says the blood of the victim must be washed away by the blood of the killers. But I refuse revenge and save my last son by hit from the war. So I was exiled to this desert. I have wealth, power, but rich men die too. When I die, I want Bahit to go home to my tribe. But for that to happen, the killers of my sons must be killed. You don't need me or Hunter for this. You got all the men you need. What use would my men be in England? England? The English sent their fiercest dogs to kill for the Sultan's oil. The SAS? Yes. Their glorious special forces. It was a war. It was not England's war. They came to my land, murdered my sons. Now they will face my law. The doctors say I have six months left to live. You must avenge my sons before I die, or your friend will die with me. I don't care how you kill the killers, but they will admit their guilt on tape, and their deaths must look like accidents. This must not lead back to my son. So go. Show the English our war isn't over, till both sides say it is. <coughs> I want to see Hunter. about the girls in the saloon. Me too, me too. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Oh, it's tough putting food on the table. We should feed them. Six million, no questions. Yeah. Uh, must have done that was a bullshit job. Yeah, I know. Fucking SAS, a one-way ticket for sure. Well, you took the job, and I'm not leaving you here. Hey! Give this man a drink. I missed you. No, well, I didn't miss you. Every day you were out of this game was a good day for me. I was proud of you when you got out. Stay out. Too late. Should have stayed away. We'll run faster.
Bravo, bravo. If you need to be shot, I'll happily oblige. My father needs him alive. Nice try. You know they'd have found him. Everybody gets found. You knew. My gut tells me you knew the target and you knew Hunter wouldn't take it. You used him as bait. That's a lot of angles, Daddy. You think I'm that smart? Hmm? Get out. And you out. We missed you at the dance last night. I'm not much of a dancer. Besides, I'm still trying to find out how much house is under this. Right, big plans. Maybe too big. You don't remember me, do you? Yeah, well, it's been a while. I'm Anne Fraser. Fraser. And had red hair full of grass. <laughs> yeah. And weird red gum boots. <laughs> With eyes on them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Boy, you owe me 50 quid. I told you would be back, didn't I? We missed you. Yeah? Here I am. All right, then. You want some? <laughs> yeah, mate. You still got it. You still got that edge. You're a real killer. <laughs> Come on, let's talk. While you are away, you didn't start a family, did you? No. So no one's depending on you? Only Hunter. Only Hunter. Because one, you're going after the SAS. They're a paranoid bunch. They've always got their back up. Two, you didn't find Oman. No one talks about Oman. They went in there as advisors and ended up fighting the fucking war. Real hush hush, semi mercenary stuff. Three, you need confessions. They're trained to resist torture, so no matter what you say or do, they'll say nothing. And for Danny, this is the best special forces regiment in the world. The mate, the Navy SEALs look like a bunch of cupcakes. And not only that, you're trying to take down three of their geezers and make it look like an accident. All I'm asking is give us some thought. Take a day more if you want. I'm going anyway. Pour some in, you silly bastard. It's what we do, right? <sighs> anyway, I got a score set with them. Tried out for them when I was in the Paris. Did hear of it the whole fucking lot. What, and they wouldn't have you? Uh, you want this bottle shoved up your ass? Are you upset? Would you like a lolly? I'd love a lolly. Strawberry or fuck you? Maya. In. What? Uh, six million reasons. So what's the split? After the agent takes his slice, 50-50. Between you two. 50-50? How about you? I'm in this for Hunter. How wonderfully touching. Touching, but fucking stupid. She could only ID one of the killers. We need you to come up with the names on the other two. Start with the one they killed at Murbat. So the one target we do have is Stephen Douglas Harris. Stayed on in a mine after the war. Ended up flying choppers for the Sun's armed forces. Right. Juice junkie. Me and Myra will head there to track him down. Boss? Danny?
like sand in the burgers, huh? White Range Rover coming your way. It's Harris. Come on, have a go. Snow. Come on, not... have a go. Look, take your stain and shoot. Go, here we go. Ah! <laughs> oh, you horny kid. Come on, ah! come on, come on. You serve in Oman? At Murbat. That was a that was a day, wasn't it? What about Murbat? That was a right mess, eh? It wasn't good. Had a mate there. Thing next time, I mean it. Yeah, I, I'm onto this bloke here, right? He was in the bear earlier, pumping some SAS lads for info on Murbat. Murbat? And? He says he's Welsh, but he doesn't sound it. I don't know, maybe I'm being a bit paranoid, but... Hey, just because you're being paranoid doesn't mean to say they're not out to get you. All right, mate. Give me what you got. OK. Put one of my locals on, then. Our local followed him into the visa section. Says he's Welsh. Calls himself Mr. Jones. We lost him after he left. Lost him? No, cut. He never came back to his car. Stolen. Anyhow, he flies to Oman in four days. I'd like permission to send one of my boys out there to tail him. This was definitely some kind of recce. That was a dirty war. What we did there was questionable. A man is a bloody hornet's nest. Right, but if this bugger is poking at it, I want to know who he is. I say we send a local. Any objections? Noted. I'll leave you to choose the right man. I'd also like it noted that we are ex-SAS. The men we protect are ex-SAS. And you, Spike, though you hate to admit it, are ex-SAS. Remember, we're businessmen and bankers now. What we do here is illegal. We can leave no trace of our activities. That's why we're called the Featherman. Because our touch is light. Our spice a good man. Day the SAS lost him, they lost a good soldier. Yes, but the problem is he thinks he's still in the SAS. Well, someone has to do the dirty work. None of us want blood on our pinstripes. Listen, I've got no problem with blood. What worries me is ink. Make sure he keeps us out of the newspapers. 
What's doing, boss? Your Arabic's still good, right? Good enough. You're going to Oman. I've got a bloke I want you to tail out there. You lucky bastard. Where are you staying? I'm staying at the Hilton. As a matter of fact, so am I. What room are you in? Why, would you like to know? What are we doing out here, then, in the middle of nowhere? Well, I asked him to go hide it, he hides it. Could have been your asshole. Consider yourself lucky. Shut it, Maya. Appreciate it. Thank you. These toes are an exact match to the show step? 100%. Harris comes to me. I have a shower. He slips on the shampoo. It's the corner of the step with his oxyput. Case closed. Get out of there. You boys are going about this all wrong. That birdie screwing's married. Why don't we just pop them both and make it look like husband did it? Pop them both. <laughs> What's she ever done? It's Harris we're after. Poor bastard. Ten years after the war, he cops it for doing something he was ordered to do. He knew what he was doing when he joined the club. Yeah, what club? The killing club. Could be you or me. Yeah, but it's not. I'm just glad I never killed a ragged. No offense, my son. Let's get this done. Excuse my friend, he's a royal asshole. Somebody's on our ass. We should move right away. I'll set up Harris's interview for tomorrow. Davies, you make sure his girl doesn't show. She has nothing to do with this. Historians. I'll do the talking, all right? Well, it's five o'clock somewhere, isn't it? So, where's this documentary going to be shown, then? On the telly? The chair. Those bastards in C Company put this together, hmm? <laughs> I 
What's the matter? They didn't like the sound of their burgers. Hey? Hello, boys. I'm not saying a word till I see my lawyer. Think back. The village of Kum. You killed a guerrilla commander. His name was Hussein bin Amir. Do you admit? Fuck off. You're kidding, right? You commanded a company there. Yeah, that accompany on that up, sure. Yeah, you assassinated Hussein bin Amir. You were witnesses. You dropped him in front of his family. All right. You got me. I did it. Hmm? Fuck you. Good one. Now I'm timing. Get up. Hey! Piss off! We have what we need. What have I told you? Somebody else dropped your gear at a commander. His name is? I can't remember. But he's writing a book about the whole of man gig. You might find it in there. If you could read. <laughs> to the bathroom. No, 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 no. No, no, Wait, wait, wait! He's coming back to me looking at your fucking face. His name is Shut Captain R. Soul. A-R-S-E-H-O-L-E. -E. Shut up. You're fucking dead, yeah. On your knees. Fucking queers. Is that your fucking line? Huh? Huh? Head down. Now get your fucking hands off me. You. You're fucking kidding me. Hold him still. I'll find you. Okay. Put your fucking head in the toilet, poor fucker. <laughs> Seems your friend did what you couldn't. Wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't, couldn't. Is a bench of saying. Good news for the old man, not for you. What do you mean? Three brothers dead, riding in the sand. You didn't want to get revenge yourself. Scared of getting your hands dirty? Better get used to it. No palace for your going. A tent to hold the shit in. He's your worst nightmare, and he's gonna do it. And when he does, you're out of here. When I find you in that desert, I pray God keeps my aim. True. Strangers are a bit of an exotic thing around here. Oh, come on, I didn't think I was a stranger. Oh, but you're still exotic. Danny, something tells me you've got a story to tell. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> come on, what are you waiting for? Party's outside. Tradition around here. 
No bat. The artist's name is on the back. Have them talk to him. One more thing. My boys had some trouble in Oman. Somebody was telling him. We'll have to have a look into that, won't we? Yeah. Hmm. Ah, that's how you get it so lifelike then. Sorry? Photos of the lads. Isn't that like cheating? I'm recreating an historical event. Accuracy is everything. Hmm. That Murbat painting stopped me cold when I saw it. You're at Murbat? Had a mate there. I was hoping you might have an address for him. You with the SAS? Was. But your best bet for an address would be regimental association. They won't talk to me. Spent the last few years plying my trade overseas. And Golo in that. I come to you unofficial like. Well, I uh, might have something somewhere. Just give me a few minutes. Be my guest. Nah, I got a bullshit you're asking about, Merba. Yeah, he claims he's with the regiment. Nah, there's no way he was SAS. Yeah, I can smell it off him. Ah, he's a bloody fake. My contact says the call was cut off, but Gowling said that there was somebody there asking about Murbat. It has to be our guy. And what would you have us do about it? Find them. If we don't, there's going to be another murder, and it'll be one of our Murbat boys. Then who are they? Well, they're pros, for sure. If these guys are going after the SAS, they're going to be top-class professional assassins. They must have a string of hits behind them. But they're completely under the radar. All we've got is our man. A man? We all know our people went too far. Aman, Murbat, it all needs to be left alone. You should try telling that to the Welshman. He's right. We have to find this phony Welshman and his crew. The file says an SAS officer killed the Shink's son at the Battle of Murbat. Warwick Stephen Crick. He was the only officer there that night, killed everything that moved. He's our worst nightmare, a real hot shot. Paintings of him the lot. Would you get this? the bloke who did the paintings. Don't you worry about that, all right? He shuffled off this morning, Coyle. That wasn't part of the deal. Come on, shit happens when you're playing the deep end of the pool, Danny. Why can't you two stick to the plan, huh? Well, you've been watching this, Craig. What's your next big idea? His wife's in hospital. When he's not training for the selection march, he spends most days there. So why don't we hit him there? No, not his family. Give me everything you know on that march. We'll see where that goes. There's only four Murbat survivors in Britain. I've got locals on the other three. You get the celebrity. Warwick Craig. You're kidding. Wish I was. Welcome to hell. The SAS selection march. 41 miles, 55 pounds of gear. They lose someone every couple of years. Don't you even think about it. Why not? During the march, this place is crawling with SAS. Yeah, you said it yourself. It's an accident waiting to happen. How are you going to catch him, then? 
He's been trained for months. He's like a greyhound. Just have to slow him down, won't we? Insulin, chlorpropamide. Initial here. Anything doing? No. Craig's still in there with his missus. Yeah, boss. This will keep you going. Cheers. Panic. I need you back here, mate, pronto.
You wouldn't fucking believe it. Somebody was watching Craig. What? Hmm. You think he's from the same stable as the shooter in the desert? Maybe. Who's good? Whatever he is, it's too late. Ah, right, good, good. Chroma slows him down. Insulin sends him into shock. Hypothermia to you. And when were you planning on getting it to him? Before the march. How? It's an SAS base, Danny, that you trained in. So think back. The security lay at the lot. You're nuts. Are you gonna do it? Man, you really are one crazy son of a bitch, Danny. Clock's ticking. You got under a minute, all right?
laptop there. I come bearing gifts. Hi! From my boys in Angola. <laughs> I have no idea how you're meant to eat this. So, <clears throat> shut. Who's on our ass? I'm on it. Don't worry. Look, there's only one more to go. After this is done, I'll get you boys a nice cushy job in the sun. Hmm? There is no after this. I'm a vulture. I live off killers. Gives me a unique perspective. Have you heard of the 2%? That's you. Davis, the SA, that's all you love. Mercenaries, hitmen, heroes. You're all part of that 2% of men who are natural killers. That's why you'll never get out. You can't run away from who you are, Danny. That's not who I am. That's what I've done. And I can't do something else. Yeah, yeah. That's all nice and good, but let's just take care of business first, shall we? Your third target, Major Simon McCann. Mad Simon McCann of late. How'd you find him? Asked around. It was easy. These days, he's your basic cash-for-trash mercenary. He's a sitting duck. I did not tell you I came bearing gifts. You know where to find me? You don't trust that snake, do you? He's lying. Yeah, how do you know? His lips were moving. He just gave us a third target. He's done nothing on that last fall. Someone's onto us. I want Hunter out of there. I want this finished. I want to be around to enjoy the money when it is. Well, the first thing you should buy is a pair of balls. We're going after McCann. I convinced myself that everything's okay because when I'm with you, I'm happy. Then you go away and I realize that I know nothing about you. I don't know where you go and I don't know what you do. I mean, you've got a whole nother life, Danny. Is there someone else? Come on, Anne. Well, then what is it? I mean, Jesus, what are you not telling me? What are you hiding? Can we talk about this when I get back? To hell with it. You show me a beautiful woman, I'll show you a bloke that's sick of her shit. Shut up. Roger that. <laughs> that him? That's him. Major Simon McCann. Served in the Sultan's forces till he was pensioned out four years ago. Have enough one. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> you won't, Sam. Oh. That's a little iron invalid. Like I said, a bomb went off under his jeep, scrambled his wire. He can't keep a job. He's a fucking psycho. Jesus. <laughs> Good. Come on, mate. Come so much. She's doing it. It's the one I went head to head with at the hospital.
bloke who drives that green jag. What's his name? His name's Spike Logan. He's an ex-soldier of some kind. He got his eye shot out, playing a hero somewhere. He's got no job, and he keeps odd hours. Hmm. Don't you know who these guys are? I mean, secrets being your bread and butter. Don't worry about it. I do worry about it. You should do. Every move my guys make, these lot are waiting. If you ask me, I think it's time you put those fancy shoes of yours on a few throats. Yes, but no one is asking you. You'll be interviewing for a security position, Mr. McCann. Actually, we got your name from mutual friend, the SAS. So we'll see you Tuesday, 17th at 10. We look forward to it. All right, my son. He'll be there. Good. I don't get it. McCann lives here. He'll be here for the interview, Tuesday, 10. He'll take this ride. The Boston breaks. Perfect. They weren't perfect in Boston. I wasn't at the controls. We've got 10 days. 10 days? The quicker we get this done, the better. I'm going to need to bring in some help. Okay. Okay, just like that. McCann's being watched. How are you going to get a confession out of him? We aren't. We'll fake it. Bit of bad lighting and camera work. You can be him. All we'll do is play back what you admit to in the reports. <laughs> Chopper with a gun in my pocket. You can call me Mifwick. Mifwick. Motherfucker, what's in charge? We have questions about this little illegal club of yours, the Feathermen. You're a tack dog. Time to bring him to heel, hey? Major McCann around the clock. I realize McCann is an old friend of yours, but what is he to do with us? But this is our chance to get the bastards who killed Craig and Harris. The authorities saw no evidence of foul play in either case. What are you talking about? No evidence. I've got the evidence right here. Everybody in this room knows that those men were killed. Everybody knows that McCann is going to be next. It's enough, Spike. We have to do something. Well, we could put it to the vote. Yes, but that would require the full committee. And, um, it'll have to wait. Spike. That was a setup. He sent him away. He knew there'd be a vote. Spike, please, look, listen. This is getting big. The powers that be are asking questions. Pressure is being applied. They have their reputations to protect. I'm not doing this to protect reputations. You know, a light touch is one thing. When no touch at all, I can't do this. You realize this thing is set up for maximum deniability? You're the only one who knows the locals. All their orders come through you. So? So, this comes out. You're the one who takes the fall. Four? From where? I am done with this whole committee thing. I'm gonna find him. He's a good kid, don't worry. I'm just open his mouth. Does he know he can't bring his mum the job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. what it was like when you were first up. This is your first job? Jesus. My first time, I puked for a day afterwards. I was young and dumb. It's just the way the army likes them. I've got to be good at this, man. You know, it's easy, yeah? 
Killing Zizi. Living with us the hard part. If I see him, I'll give you a bell. Don't be shy about spreading the word. There's a very tidy finder's fee. I'll keep my eyes peeled. One more and we'll call it a night. We're on. He's late. Just keep me at 75 feet and give me a clear line of sight. Yeah, OK. Is to home. Doing 60. You'll have a visual on Danny in one minute. Stay with him, Jake. I got him. I got him. We have target in sight. Gonna miss it. Come on, get in. Get in behind him. Just do it. Get There's in. There's not enough room. Push it. I can't get in there. Okay, then I'll take him. Go past him! What the hell are you doing, Maya? I need a range countdown. Maya, don't screw this up. I'll operate looking backwards. Relax, Maya. Davies will give you the countdown. 400 meters. Okay, range me. 300 meters. Outside line, Maya. 200 meters. Here he comes. 100 meters. Target a minder. Head to the exit point. Bring him to me. He had a fucking minder. Fuck, you got him, man. You got him. You shut up, right? Go, go, go. Who is he? I don't know. Give me an update, Davies. Oh, man, he's coming fast. Oh, Up here, there's yard. Take a left. Shit. Up here to the left. Keep going. Hold on. Come in, mate!
No ID. Nothing. Not a fucking thing. Who the fuck is he? That shouldn't have happened. That should not have fucking happened! Take it easy, Danny. Take it easy. We were out of there clean. Done. Bastards. I don't know. They're looking for their men, and they're not legit. Jake, call this number. Tell the agent we need a clean-up crew here ASAP. And why that radio into my car? Give me here. So that's it then? Yeah. Done. I'll fly tonight. You should get going too. They're close. What happens to Myers' car? There has to be somebody. Poor sod. I'll have a hooker for him. He'd like that. <laughs> yeah. Be safe. You too, Davis. Sure, Tim. I'm sure. Get dressed. Move. Move, dog. Get up. <laughs> Say a word to anyone. Do you understand? You killed Simon McCann, didn't you? Yeah? And Campbell. Where is he, you fucker? Never heard of him. <laughs> All you got. Yes, Spike. We got the Welshman. We're bringing him to you now. Over. Nice work, Pano. Well done. I'm looking forward to meeting the bastard. <laughs> Spike's gonna cut your dick off and shove it in your mouth. You like that? I like the sound of that, yeah. Do you? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I do. Get in the van. Get in. Come on. Get in. <laughs> Fuck me, you're kidding. Come on, get in!
What am I meant to do with that? He had this on him. Oh, phone number. Great work. That part of Mincemeat was our best chance of finding out who these bastards are. Print him and trace that bloody number. You fucking idiots! Drop it. Left hand, the gun, the floor. Okay, get some money. The Welshman, they were bringing him to you. Where was he? He didn't make it. You. You do it. A truck. He made a break for it. He got lucky. Would have been very slow otherwise. Yeah, well, that was my fucking friend. Yeah, and my cam was mine, and what about Campbell? Fucking... No. Davies, Meyer, Harris, McCann, Craig, Campbell. Too many names on that list. Don't go out in yours. Spike inside. Who are you? Doesn't matter. After tonight, I don't exist. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? It's over. Done. You think so? No uniform, no war, not special. You don't know what to do with yourself. Nobody knows what to do with you, right? Wrong. You know my name, but you don't know me. You have no idea who you're fucking with. Really? Don't follow me. Put your name on that list. Third confession. <coughs> the killers have been killed. Now you can go home. You can help your man. You will get the money when it's been checked. Bring him out. Bring him out! Let me put... I just want to put my watch on. What's the matter with you? You what? Right? Yeah. What's the plan? Yeah, you have it. Okay, sounds good. I was sure you were gonna get yourself killed, kiddo. How in the hell did you do it? How did you pull it off? Nah, I don't want to talk about it. I get it. Thank you. Not from me, but from my kids for having a dad. I can never thank you enough for what you did, never. Yeah, you can. You can get out of the business. Be done with this shit. No more soldiering, no more messing with work. Right, okay, okay. I'm asking you, please. Tell me you're done. I'm done. I'm out. Good. We'll stay out. Otherwise, all this is for nothing. So how are the Yankees doing? should be sorry. So it's over? You going back again? No. And you're ready to tell me everything? Whatever you want to know. Good. Except I don't want to know. Not anymore. I've... I've missed you, Daddy. I don't really care about the past, I just care about now. 
That was the business. It was for some shit travel agent. Runs mercenaries in and out of every shithole in the world. <laughs> Come in. Job's done. No, you killed the wrong guy. There's one more to go. I busted my nuts setting this job up, and I want my 10%. No. I did what I had to do. Tell that to the Sheik. He wants a London meet with his son. Check with your girlfriend before you make any rash decisions, eh? Come with me, Ed. What? To Paris. You can wait for me there while I'm in London. Leave tomorrow. Nothing's keeping you here, right? I, it's the middle of the night. Ed, just... Ed! They know about you. Who knows about me? They know about us. When will this be over? Soon. If all goes well. It will, won't it? Good on, huh? Listen, don't do this on your own. No other way. Bailey's mile, all this heat on you. Come on, let's just get in the car. We go to London. Uh, we hit the airport. Well, that's it. We have a deal, remember? What do you think? I can't cut this? Is that it? I mean, I'm not a babysitter. Come on. I need to know she's safe. You're the only one to trust. This is bullshit. You can run, both of you. Just go. Come on. Everyone gets found. You know that. You're gonna get yourself killed, kiddo. Thanks for doing this. You gotta be kidding.
tell the old man he threatens her again, I'll put it between his eyes. Harris, the pilot, on his film, he said another soldier killed my brother. He was winding us up. He thought it was some kind of a joke. This was just published. The author served with the SAS. It describes an ambush where he killed the guerrilla leader. Harris did not kill Hussein. You gave me his name. You said he was guilty. Such is Allah's will. Allah's will? You had me kill it as a man. The book would be the real killer's confession. I'm a father. Nick. I know what your father needs. I need everything you can get on a run of fights. Yeah, right up. Thanks for saying yes. I got fines. You're still pushing this book on Omar. He'll be doing a press bash on Tuesday. Tuesday? I know it's a bit short now, but I'll be able to pull a crew together. Nah. Do this on my own. Wait a minute, you sure? Just a phone call. I guess he's sure. B I N G fucking up. I knew I'd find you, you bastard. Do you mind if You look lonely. You're Danny's friend. The famous hunter. You say nice things? What are you doing here? Watching you. You should be with him. I tried. It didn't work. You wanted me here to protect you. And you look like you needed protecting. From what? You. You're thinking about I'm not coming back. What happens then? No, I... I have a wife. I know the look. We've known each other through thick and thin. Danny and I... Celine, my wife, she loves him. My kids love him. I mean, wild animals like Danny. <laughs> yeah. I know Danny's gonna come back for you. And when he does, you're gonna steal him away. Huh? I don't know what the plan is. Monsieur? Oui, monsieur? Une bouteille de vin rouge, s'il vous plaît. I have a woman to interrogate now. Boys. So this guy is good, very good. He senses something's up, he runs, you corner him, he fights. But now the gloves are off. This all fucking ends today. All right, everybody knows the rules. There are no rules. Black leathers. Roger that. Just took the service stairs. It has to be him. Just hold your positions. We'll know soon enough. Stop. 
guy's alive, panic. Don't shoot. Touch him, they're not there. Stay here. Stay there, you fucker! Get his helmet off before he chokes. Guys, our man's down. Head for the roof. And you're dead. Right, let's go, let's go. Get in. That's for Campbell. And that's for Craig. You finished? We haven't even started. Take the hood off. Way outside, boys. Save a little bit for us, boss. 
So why is he still alive? Why didn't you kill him? Who are you, Dadan? I thought you were the good guys. Who are you? Who do you work for? You and I got a lot in common. Really? You think so? So you're sitting there tied to a chair, and I'm standing here with a gun in my hand. Now, you tell me what the fuck this was all about. Was. You think this is over? There'll be somebody else. If your boy finds he's gonna die. Go and pull the trigger. Kill me and you kill fines. That won't stop till they get him. I stopped you, I'll stop them. I didn't want to kill him. They will. You put that in the right hands, this thing's over. The camera, why? Proof. Evidence that he's dead. It's the only way you'll save him. You tell me I'll walk, I'll tell you who's behind this and where I'll find him. Okay. You walk. Shake him here, Benessa. You'll find him in a mine. Why? The war. They killed three of his sons. Some good guy, eh? Drop it. Inside. Beside him. On your knees. That's what we love about you lot. You only care about the action. Never think about what you might really be fighting for. Or who. Never see the big picture. You're the one that was set up. He just wouldn't get out of the way. Her Majesty's government doesn't like secret societies. Particularly when they get in the way of our interests. Do you know how much oil that pathetic crust of desert is floating on? Do you know what those contracts are worth? Three men's lives. That's right. That's right. We deliver the killers. Son number four goes home. And when Shiki re-ups the contracts, we get favorable consideration. A bargain. You bastard. You're a patriot who serves his country as those three men did with their deaths as you will with yours. <laughs>
There she is. Danny might have dropped off the radar, but one thing's for sure. He'll come back for her. He'll come through that door with six million dollars, and she won't be there. Who don't you screw out of his ten percent? Yours truly. Boss. Deal with him. Why? What if ever a lion piece of shit needed killing it was you? Game's over. You know, I wouldn't have hurt her. I just wanted my cut. She was only collateral. You go after them. I'll find you. Remember, everybody gets found, even you. You gotta get those photos to that old bastard to finish this thing for good, yeah, kiddo? That's why I'm here. What about you? Babysitting's over, kiddo. Who says? I say. She's safe. You're the one taking your chances now. Come on. Come on. You walked into a trap last time. You think I'm gonna let you do that again? I told your girl you were gonna be coming back to her. You wanna make a liar out of me? No, you're supposed to be guarding her, not interviewing her. Well, I told the sucker for a pretty face. Don't deny that. She's a keeper, that's for sure. She doesn't know, does she? Some. Yeah. It's gonna be tough. My old man used to say, life's like licking honey from a thorn. Yeah, what does that mean? Tell him about good times and bad times. Seems like there's been all thorns for us lately, both of us. All right, let's finish this. I'll be top cover. Anything goes wrong, I'm coming in. Hey, look, the Sheik wants this over. It's in, hand over the photos and out. Yeah? Yeah, there isn't gonna be a problem. From your mouth to God's ears. Don't move till I give the all clear, okay? I have to see it placed in his hands. Take this to my people. Show them what I have done. <coughs> I have a message for the Shaikh.
don't care. Huh? What would I do? Huh? In that God forsaken desert! Have you forgotten something? Hold it, hold it, stay where you are. Something's not right here. You see this? Yeah, I see it. So we're in the wrong place. Back at the palace. What happened in there? He was there waiting for a message from you. I was the messenger. And? What do you think? His boy in there didn't give a shit. He's not going back to the desert, so there'll be no oil contracts. It was all for nothing. Is that right? And the winner is. So that's what this is all about. Yeah, it's all hookers and blow from here on in. You just don't get it, do you? Did you? You sure? Did you? I gotta cover my expenses. You can't go back to England not after killing that spook. Who the fuck are you? Oh, me. The voice of experience. Where are you gonna go? What are you gonna do? You're gonna need this. New name, new face, new papers. Expensive. You'll see. Damn shame. You think you get to just walk away? Nobody walks away. Not me, you. None of us. That old man you just killed. You tell me a war isn't over till both sides say it is. Well, I'm telling you now, this is over for me. Really? And what? You want me to say me too and then it's happy ever after? Your choice. You know, when I got this, they told me my war was over. I told them they were full of shit. Now I'm telling it to you. Let it go. Where are you going? Well, are you planning a visit? Yeah.
You never know. You come. I'll be waiting. We'll call your cab from the airport. Fraser, the girl with those weird gum boots. Are you Danny Bryce, the boy who went away? Yeah. I'm back. Where are you headed? I don't know. Me neither. Wanna come along? <laughs> 